Thank you, everyone. Okay, so I'll be starting with bias in NLP, and I'll be covering a very generic part of the biases. So generally, whenever we address a bias, we we try to in, we try to click on the disparity which is present in the data or in the input that we give. So what exactly is a disparity? We can somewhat uh, relate it to a problem statement. So there's so many problems. Like we see this bias everywhere in various NLP models. Like you see it in movies, you see it over books, you can see it in language translations. So all these, all these examples are, which are like really close to our all day you know, lifestyle, we witness biases in natural language processing models. Now we'll see how. So generally, if every, anyone here is working at Google, please don't get offended. But generally, we think like Google, Facebook, Amazon, these are like really good companies. And we think that you know these companies are like extremely good, and we want to be in them. And we think that they are working very well. And they don't have as much as error. F they have like error-free environment. But it's not actually true. So we'll find out how. So. What happens is uh, the Google ads are shown where they actually claim the job scales for women, and it has turned out that they show less paid jobs for the same position as what they show to a guy. Now, how exactly the model understands that it's a guy or a girl? So obviously, on prior information which it stores, it, it labels through various uh, features. It understands, OK, it's either it's a boy or a girl, and then like that, it actually proves that, you know, this is a female uh, category-based person, so they will show them less paid jobs for the same position of what a guy would be getting, and this has been proven. Similarly, Facebook is also like that, and so is with Amazon. So f there was actually a campaign that was, ra that was raised because, you know, there were so many ads that were shown on Facebook with the similar problem that Google was also doing. And AI model at Amazon was not recruiting women. It was actually scraping out. So if maybe, let's say, I had a profile which was exactly similar of what a guy was having. So maybe the profile that was needed, a guy would get selected, and my profile would get rejected based on the gender. And it's not because there's, there's an intention behind it. It's, it's happening unintentionally. And that is the bias which is behind it. So we'll find how exactly you know, these companies are now working to scrap that out. So like I said, it's not only with jobs, it's there with our everyday life. So it says she is in Pulis and he is a nurse. If I pronounce it wrongly, then please pardon me. CI NASA Policia, CI Isang Nurse. When I'm translating it, it is taking a common CIA which is he and she, it's common for both in Filipino from English. But when I retranslate it, it's actually what it's doing is the first Sia, which was a she in the first statement, has been taken as a he. So, you know, generally, whenever we think of cops, whenever we think of police, well, we say policemen. We never, we usually never say police woman. I mean, there can be a girl also, right? It's not necessary that all, all police people are boys or are guys. So these are the basic biases which are actually present in these models which we actually don't realize. So it's something which is there, and its occupations are again decided by genders. Whenever, you know, whenever we say call the cops, we never think that a, cab would be a police cab would be coming with four or five women in it. We generally think you know, male police would be arriving. I think that's here in Germany as well, right? Right? Yeah, so exactly. So even Google Translation has, been, has not actually worked well. It has failed here by, by not correcting the right gender. So obviously, in books also, there's bias present. Like if you see, generally, you say the girl is going to take care of the house, and the boy will go out and work. The girl would cook. The boy would do something else, maybe eat or whatever. So even in these basic examples, and this is a book for a toddler. I mean, it's not something that is there for somebody who's like well educated it's even in the beginning from very beginning that's what we're actually consuming and we're not even realizing that it's actually not right there's a bias even here so that's what i said initially that you know even our lifestyle is filled with so many biases 
With Disney movies, I think most of you must have seen, even though I see more guys, but I think that's okay. We generally see that, you know, maybe it's Snow White or, or, or Cinderella. In the end, the prince comes at the climax and he fixes everything. And the girl is suffering, maybe she's, her sisters are not helping her, or maybe, you know, her mother is not helping her. So, you know, it's why do we need to introduce a male character to sort of solve the problem? Why not we can deal with the, with the protagonist itself, even though all these, fe all these are female-driven films. All of them have a protagonist who are women. I mean, Snow White was a woman. It was all based on her life. But the, in the end, you know, the, the prince comes and, you know, the apple that she eats comes out because of the horse and everything. So, you know, those things are there. That it has to be introduced through a prince, considering this example. Now, with, I'm not too sure if you guys know about it, but generally what happens in Bollywood movies, like I said, in movies, so this is a very basic example. Whatever characteristics we associate for a hero is not generally how we associate for the heroine as in for the actress. Now here, I'll read out the dialogue. Rohit is an aspiring singer who works as a salesman in a car showroom run by Mr. Malik. One day he meets Sonia, daughter of Mr. Saxena, when he goes to deliver a car to her home as her birthday present. So what exactly, what exactly is, is something that you can find out from here? Can anyone actually try? W what is the disparity in this dialogue? We'll obviously discuss it in the further slides, but if anyone can still catch, the description says Rohit is an aspiring singer and um, he's a salesman and he's going to deliver a car and etc. And Sonia is daughter of Mr. Saxena. Sorry? Girls are pampered. But uh, yeah, it says a salesman. Okay, so I'll explain you. So here if you see, what, what is, there's an undervalue statement that Sonia Saxena is just daughter of Mr. Saxena. There's no description given. It's just daughter of Mr. Saxena. Whereas two, both of them are leading people. One is the boy, one is the girl. Rohit is the boy. He has been given a really long description that, you know, he's a salesman, he wants to be a singer, he's going to deliver a car, etc., etc. But for the girl, it's just that she's daughter of somebody. Is that description enough to actually make you realize that what is the personality of this person? I mean, it could have written it in the other way also that Rohit is, you know, Rohit is a boy and she is, maybe she graduated or she's staying there, or she's saying nothing has been described about her. Only a simple line has been given that she is a daughter of, uh, she's the daughter of Mr. Saxena. So these undervalued statements, which we generally ignore, actually help us in finding the bias. And the entire description that says is basically that she's getting a present, but the way it has been picturized that we not intent on looking on these critical points, but we actually focus on the outcomes, which is very basic and simple, and it's too direct. Yet we chose to not, uh, we still uh, chose to miss out these uh, critical points and the undervalued statements. So, Obviously, if had I not pinpointed it, I, I don't think most of you must have actually figured it. So it's very difficult to actually detect bias like that. So how should one actually try to do it? What are the ways? So it's very simple to detect bias. You need to analyze the basic stereotypes which we actually miss out. You need to, you need to develop a data set in such a way that you're able to you, you are able to pinpoint the de-bias and you're able to put that as an input so that your training model works accordingly and gives you the best accuracy results. So it's very important to make a data set which is de-biased. And obviously then your uh, model would be developed uh, using machine learning algorithm. <coughs> okay, so how do you analyze the stereotypes? The gen there are broadly three characteristics. Through words, right? If I say she's a pretty girl, it's very obvious. If I, if I just say, oh, there's somebody, 
she's looking very pretty like that or maybe something it's it's very obvious that you know it's for a girl right whenever we use a guy has to be rich a guy has to be successful we generally don't associate these adjectives these words with with women so these are the, this is like a very fine line and a baseline approach you need to work on the stereo, uh, to work on debiasing you need to you need to extract the stereotypes and change it you need to make it unanimously exclusive for both the categories that's one and words are the most primary thing then the second is the actions now generally what we say is like okay she's a girl she must be cooking is a boy he must have gone you know out to work so we are giving these these actions these these performance to a specific category without realizing like if you remember the the book that i showed you which was basically for a toddler it had the same example the girls can cook and the boys eat or play or something like that so we are actually not realizing that we are giving these informations ourselves only so we need to take care to to uh, to remove the bias we need to take care that we actually work on these stereotypes so first category will be the words the adjective the second category belongs to the actions that we are labeling like you see if you see here if it's visible to the people at the back also it says that the girl marries and here it says the boy beats so it's 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 very uh, like regressive but there are some places where it actually happens that you know girls are actually the considered that you know we'll just put them inside the house and they'll be working or the boys would go out and work and they they can you know rule the world and everything so we don't realize but these actions are also there so we need to work on that and finally we have the occupation like the example i gave in the translation one that she is a police but it came out to be he is a police these action uh, these occupations are also play an important role so generally we come across that you know girls are generally teachers secretaries we never think of a girl as a sports person even in this example i don't think so they also have it yeah they don't have it it's not even there i mean it's so rare and it's so less in number otherwise we at least think of it you know okay boys would become maybe less maybe more but at least we have that window open in our heads it's not even open for women doctors extremely less police officers extremely less students we generally think okay they're good you know some of them would be even less interested or would not be interested or sometimes we force so that number also decreases so these occupations that we you know label are also playing an important part which we don't realize so that's one more thing now how do we so for like i said about the movies for data set generally what what uh, was seen was there were 400 plus movies from 1970 to 20, uh, 2017 and only 5085 uh, 58 female cast members were there but for the guys there were 938 sorry 380 9380 so these things we don't realize that it's almost half the number approximately so in general for actors actresses for any occupation the number goes half other under than if it's a teaching job or if it's a secretary job jobs which are actually labeled for women and these are the things whenever we train a model we miss out on these informations and that's why biases are actually seen in in our model so whenever we are making a model in such a way that it has to be uniform we need to take care of these points because these are some points which are not available you just pick out the information maybe online or you recreate while you're creating also we generally overlook these and we create the data set and we train a model and then you know afterwards we realize that there are some biases present so it's very important to work with them like considering this uh, data set only it, it can be found on with this link so you guys can also see it for the same uh, example that i gave i'll be showing you some results later on so if you see the pink one the pink the red one is for girls and the blue one is for boys so there are like 
around there's few uh, bollywood movies if you see there has been like i think not more than five movies would be you know where 70% of the information is about a girl maybe you don't you might not know the context also but even if through the imagery you can't find that okay this much this much has been the participation by a woman and this much has been the participation by a boy so even with these figures we understand that we are actually taking them out even though they are the protagonists so we tend on losing this kind of information so if you see basically if you see the percentage it was extremely less in in initial from 1970s to 2000 and then it actually it, it was a strong inclination upwards and then it became again constant and there was a uphill again so why because generally this around this time there were very few female centric movies then few of them like biopics and extra were made which again is a story of a woman it's not basically a common film or a common movie where you know the guy and the girl is there it's basically it's only dependent on the women that's why the the graph has increased so that's one thing so it's it, the growth is less than 5% in in uh, i think 20 to 30 years now how exactly the bias can be removed which we've seen so far which is very important so this decog teller has been invented by ibm at uh, india i'm not too sure if uh, the german ibm is aware about it but it has been I, i'm not sure about it but yeah so they've been working because it's basically based on a uh, movie data set so i don't think so they they would know about it but what exactly what exactly is here is that they're giving the facts which is very common like how the basic nlp model works you give the information then you perform the word embedding problem you generate the word embedding and then you specify gender based like how we were associating teachers and um, secretaries okay female okay this is like male okay that is common can be done by both of them something like that and then what you do is after that when you've given a biased data you extract okay all the information the occupation everything has been extracted then you interchange it and you check the plausibility of it so you are interchange here the information has been interchanging based on the gender and you check how accurate is it and that's how your bias can be removed so generally what we do is we don't follow this step we don't follow anything from here we don't follow it we follow the uh, the first um, flow chart and the second one but we don't go generally for the third one until and unless we work it out for both the genders how would we know that there is a possibility for you know females also to be in that part otherwise we'll again have that google translation problem statement that was there we'll witness more examples like that so that's one and this is extremely important because this is how that gender thing would be removed if we change the gender you'll understand okay so there is a possibility that even a female can be a police cop so that's very important now how does this algorithm actually work the d cocktailer you can search it online also there's a paper i'll show the reference also so you generally pre process your data you generate the word vectors after doing after performing this you extract the information and then when you classify what you try to do it you try to do it in both the ways you interchange the information and check how well is it working and after this is generally for the movie data because that's what i've been focusing more on and then you detect bias based on the actions okay so if it was working for both of them then it's fine if it was not working then there's a bias then you work on it and then uh, after working on it your bias has been removed so if you see the gender predictions uh, the accuracy for the movie data set which was there it was following the knn um, machine learning algorithm if you guys are aware of it anybody has any doubt okay yeah so the knn algorithm was working 
so for k equal to 1 it was like there was a there's a huge inclination angle but for the green one it was initially steady but in the end it it went up the orange one where k was actually 50 the uh, the orange one was constant it was not constant but then it would it steadily increased in the in the end there was a uphill um, point so it the maximum accuracy that has been uh, achieved is when k is equal to 1 so that's that's the maximum accuracy you can get for your bias removal for the movie data set and this is for the training data so as as uh, as accurate, you can work on your training data. It's far more, because the testing data, the accuracy even decreases. So you need to really work on the training data to remove the bias. So this is the debiasing system. I'm following the same example here as well. So Rohit is an aspiring singer who works as a salesman in a car showroom run by Mr. Malik. One day he meets Sonia daughter of Mr. Saxena, when he goes to deliver the car at her place on her birthday. Now here if you see how basically D. Cock Teller has been working, is basically that he is, that Rohit, he, because it's a salesman, it has already selected it as that he's a singer, he wants to deliver, he has aspires, like he has desires. So all of that has been labeled to the blue, uh, if you can see this tree, they've been assigned the blue label, which is figuring that, you know, all this is somewhat labeled and characterized towards what a guy would like or a guy would be. The, the pink one where it's indicating Sonia is actually just giving that she is a girl because she's a daughter. So only that much information has been received. So when you debias this information, now what is happening is Sonia, uh, sorry, Rohit, she, it has now taken it as she, is a saleswoman. Now it has changed the, gen uh, changed the gender, like the work in terms of gender. And it says that uh, Sonia is an aspiring, sorry, Rohit is an aspiring singer who works as a saleswoman. So now the name remains the same, but the characteristic that was all about the guy has been changed for a girl. So here the information has been changed from salesman to a saleswoman. And you know that she has dreams and she wants to aspire, still remains of that of a boy. Because that again is not changed. The only information that has been taken out is that she is, Rohit is a saleswoman. So because of saleswoman, it has taken it to be that Rohit is a woman. But here again, the other information that she's an aspiring singer or whatever has not been converted. So there's another bias here also. And similarly with Sonia, that daughter of has been swapped to son of. So that information has changed. Uh, Sonia, anyway, didn't have much labels. She just had it, you know, she's a daughter, which has now been changed to a bo uh, to son of. But here, like you see, the deliver and the aspiring feature has not been changed. So that this is also again with de-bias text. So there's another, there's still a bias present in that. It's not yet biased completely. So this is the reference you guys can, um, I think the present, the PPT would be shared, I believe. Yeah, so you can uh, go through these papers and you can, you know, refer it from here. It's basically a research paper. I can show you also. Oh, it's not selecting the entire thing. One second. There's a space.
Oh, it's not taking that thing completely. Okay, I'm not too sure why it's not working. Sorry? Oh, okay. The size is too small. And there's another person. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, finally. So you can, yeah, you can uh, follow these uh, research papers also to know more how to remove bias because it has. It's this uh, topic was basically on uh, basically on gender bias because we were figuring on the basic level 101. So that's what it has seen. It's a really good paper. You can you know refer it. And. Um, yeah, there's one more publication. You can see that as well. Wait, I'll open that also. Yeah, I'll take care of it. I think this one should work properly. Oh, no. No, it's wait. Does this work? Yeah, so this is also a really, it's basically from Ukraine and Russia. You can follow this link as well. It's also very handy. And also for the data set, it's available here. You can see that. I've mentioned that in the presentation as well. So if you want to reach out to me, you can, that's my Twitter handle, LinkedIn, you can mail me. I have a YouTube channel also for various technocrats to come on board and discuss various problems that they've been facing and how exactly they've uh, gained recognition. So I generally, what I do is I do a Q&A series where I call a lot of great technocrats on my channel and I ask them questions, how exactly you went there and what are the scholarship opportunities, how did you apply? Maybe somebody's working at Google or anywhere, so what are the resources to follow? So if you're interested, you can also volunteer yourself as a speaker. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. We still have a bit of time for questions, so if you have any questions about this amazing topic, please go ahead. Um, I checked with Bangla, and it is the same. So, like, uh, Bengali language, in, um, English to Bengali, Bengali to, to English, and I realize it is the same. Even when Bengali is an almost general, uh, gender neutral language. So, yeah, this is an issue now. <laughs> So we generally don't change the interpolarity of these statements and it's like, it's very common. You try it with other languages also and I'm sure they're going to work like this only, it's going to fail. I, I chose a language which was familiar for uh, people here to understand because then Hindi languages, the, the letters and alphabets would be difficult to yeah, interpret by them. But Hindi and other, uh, most other languages already have uh, gender in their sentences. So I would probably understand if machine learning algorithms would take it, but Bangla is an almost gender neutral language, so I did not expect that. So. Yeah. Even in Hindi, like you, we generally say that, you know, it's specific for a man, you know, if you say that I am going, it's, it's probable that I am going would be said by a boy because the verbs are like that. But even in Hindi, when you uh, like go for like, more complex sentences, not just I am going, because when you train your model, you just don't, you know, input these information. You give a lot of information. So those informations are also not really bias free. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so you mentioned that the, the model you're using, uh, that is based, you are trying to remove the bias based on other text, right? From news text in this example. Yeah. 
But isn't that really dangerous because actually all texts uh, have these biases, so you're actually trying to remove biases with biased texts? So it's not, that's what I said, it's not, it has not completely removed the bias. If you saw that example, the deliver thing and this aspiring thing was still in blue. Okay. So it's not completely removing it, but it's giving an intuition that it's possible with the other person as well. So it's actually working very well. Obviously, there are few points which can still be worked on, like you said, that because this was basically on a particular data set. It has not been universally accepted. So I think IBM is still working on it, but uh, for now this is just based on one product. But yeah, it's not completely removing it, it's still working on that complete part and I think they will never work on the complete thing because then again it's not right for any N, uh, ML model. You need to introduce bias also at times. So that's why that blue thing was again still there. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Um, would you say that um, uh, this this approach to reduce bias is uh, more applicable to um, to certain problems? Because we've uh, made the uh, experience that for a lot of models, if you reduce the bias in the in the data, the model gets worse at predicting because the data you get in uh, still will be biased. So if you predict the genre of of a film, your model is going to get worse. Where I would see um, this to be very useful is things where it would be really horrible if uh, if this bias creeps in. Like if you want to uh, have a machine learning algorithm that predicts something for like hiring decisions or something. So would you say that certain problems are more prone to this or where this would be more useful? Thank you for the question. So if, if in, the pre, uh, in the beginning I showed that you know Google and Facebook, all of them had already, uh, they had developed a model which was not accepting or was not giving that much of pay scale or were not accepting them as recruiters or anything if it were a girl or if it was you know, a female candidate. So generally this bias is mainly where you know, there has been uh, applications where there's been a rejection based on gender it's not universally, uh, you know, it's not universally accepted for all the applications. It's, res it's restricted to gender-based approaches only for now. But like you said, you know, it can really work well, you know, maybe with, with cabs and all, when we can actually say, you know, if that's the area which is not very safe for women, then, you know, give them priority, maybe there should be a service which should be you know, readily available or something like that. So these biases are introduced to focus more on how to prevent the imagery of a gender which is not giving that much of coverage. Anything else, anybody has a question? Yes? Um, so this means all our data sets must be cleaned this way, more or less. Uh, have you an example which is the biggest relevant data set which has been already cleaned, or is it just so, in the future? So, uh, like I said, you need to make a data set because not uh, data sets are very raw, they, they're not cleaned. Even if you're creating your own, you need to clean that up. So you need to work on that part manually and then you need to, obviously you can apply some ML models for that, but it, the cleaning part and all the considerations has to be done manually considering all the options available. Yeah, because there hasn't been a system to develop the cleaning. There has been a system to detect after cleaning, but the development part is not yet considered. Anybody else has a question? I, I think we're done. So, thank you. So you can mail me if there is still some question left. So thank you everyone. I actually flew down from India to give this talk and it's been a great experience at Berlin Buzzword. So thank you so much.